Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is basically going to be my favorite brushes, my most used brushes, high-end and drugstore prices. So I will be showing different types of brushes in each category. I'm going to go in order of how I apply my makeup. I will list prices on the screen below each brush just in case you're interested. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below for future videos. Have the first thing that I would do normally is my brows. This is the Morphe E29. It is an angled brow spoolie brush. This is a drugstore version price of what I would say is a very similar product. This is from EcoTools. It's also a double-ended angled brush and this side I would call it like a smudger for the lower lash line. Next is the MAC 192 brush. This is a concealer brush. Actually this is the 195 sorry. So this is a great concealer brush. I usually use it to apply concealer all over the lid. Brush is dirty is this one from Wet n Wild. So this is also this is also called the concealer brush. It's very flat. It really packs on color and it's nice and kind of, I don't want to say sharp, but very dense at the top that you can easily like define the brow. So this is like my next go-to for sure. Next for blending, my go-to is the MAC 224 brush. This is a very pricey brush. The other brush that I like is the Sigma Tapered Blending. This is the E40. These are very, very similar. Another brush that is very similar is this one. This is by Morphe. This is the Morphe 502 brush. I will leave prices down below, just like I said. Fine Morphe one. The other one that I have and I really, really like a lot is the Wet n Wild brush. I would call this a blending brush. It's called the Crease Brush, but as you can see, it also fans out. It's pretty long the brushes are super super soft and this is the most affordable affordable one you can get now when i'm going to go into the crease and start to build up a dark color i love the mac 217 this is a perfect tapered dense short brush i like this one a whole lot the affordable version to this would be the morphe m44 m433 this is a little dirty because i just used it this is also a very nice brush but i will say that the morphe m433 fans out a little bit more and doesn't keep its shape after the washes so this is still a really nice one but I would say for me, since I don't have the biggest lid area to work with, this tends to be a little bit bigger, I would say for me, but I still I still use it. My next must have brush for eyes is the MAC 242, I believe. The number is, it has vanished because I use it so much. This brush, has been through hell and back. On accident, one time I got lash glue on here, black House of Lashes lash glue, and within like three or four washes, all that came off and the hair did not come off. So yes, it's a pricey brush, but it's definitely worth it and it's definitely gonna hang on for dear life. This is very similar to it, as you can see here. The size is basically the same. The density is basically the same. The length is basically the same. I have already used most of these brushes to um, apply pigments. I have used it to clean up underneath the brows just to see how stiff they are. I have used them to do a cut crease, which that's mainly the reason I bought these huge set of brushes for. So I will definitely show you that set towards the end. I love the MAC 221. The MAC brushes definitely hold their shape and they don't shed. This is one of my favorite brushes. I basically use it to darken up the crease. It's perfect for packing the color yet also blending it out. If you are looking for a dupe to the MAC 221, I would say your closest bet would be the Morphe M514. As you can see, they are pretty similar in size. And actually, I bought the Morphe brush first because I think I saw on Pinterest that it was a dupe for this one and I was trying to see if I didn't have to go all the way and spend the money on this 
MAC brush versus this one. Now I will say if you get this, this is a very good brush, the Morphe one. But I have noticed that over time in use, the Morphe one has fanned out just a little bit more. Both of these have been washed. This was used today, but as you can see, this one has still fanned out a little, little bit more. So just keep that in mind. For packing on color onto the lid, my favorite is the MAC 239. This is definitely a flat shader brush. If you don't wanna go that route either, you can always go with this one. This is by Wet n Wild. It's also a, I think it's just called a, a shader brush or a sh if you can find any of these brushes from wet n wild with the pink tips all of them are pretty good i want to say i have all of them a brush that i like to use to smoke out the lower lash line is this i think this is yeah this is called the short shader e20 this is by sigma as you can see it's super tiny a brush that i love 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 to use for this is the elf small tapered brush this is an awesome brush it has never lost its shape it does not shed. It's awesome. It fits perfectly under the eye. It also fits perfect. It fits perfect on the lid and it fits perfect underneath the eye if you want to use it to also set your translucent powder for your concealer. The other brush that I like a lot for the same thing is the Real Techniques setting brush. If you don't have this, please just buy it or buy the elf one because this is an awesome brush one it's good for many reasons you can use it to set your eyelid you can use it to set your under eye i have used it for highlighter this is super soft and it's super affordable if we go on to the face for bronzer i love this giant somewhat tapered brush this is from sigma this is the large powder f20 this is very nice I like to use this mostly when maybe I'm not doing blush and I just want to bronze up the skin. This is the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. As you can see, they're very similar in size. This one, I want to say, is less dense, which in a way I prefer. When I apply bronzer with this, I find myself continuously blending it out because it's more dense. This one, I would say, is perfect. This line from the e.l.f cosmetic brushes, the ones that are all black. This is an awesome line. I have many brushes from this line as well. And again, they don't shed, they're super affordable. You can, fi you can find most of all the e.l.f. brushes at Target. So this is a perfect bronzer brush for myself. Their bronzer brush I like to use is this one by Eco Tools. This is, this is dirty because I used it, but I did wash most of the other brushes, sorry. So anyways, this, this is labeled as a bronzing blending brush, I think. I will list it down below. This is very nice, and the fact that it's a duo fiber, it's not gonna leave you with too much product, and it's gonna blend out very, very nice. For blush, I love the Morphe E4. It's a slanted brush. It's super, super soft. It's not too dense, very, very soft has kept its shape well. I like the angled just because I like to do blush from here and to the back. If you don't want to order from Morphe, another really good one is the Wet n Wild one. This one, as you can see, is very similar. It's a slanted blush brush, or I think it's called a contour brush, maybe. But this one is just a lot, de a lot less dense. This one is a little. This one is more dense and will definitely pack on more color. And this one, if you feel like you go too heavy-handed, this would be perfect for you because it picks up a lot less product. Which sometimes that's kind of what we're looking for. Okay, guys, for highlight, I really, really like the Morphe 501 brush. This is very, very nice. The other one that I love more is the Morphe R36. What I found when I bought this one first is yes, it's really nice, but this one is a lot softer on the skin. Another really good highlighting brush is this one from Royal Lang and Nickel. This is called the Highlight and Glow. I actually got this on walmart.com. It's a very, very nice brush. I really like the shape of it, the density, and it's extremely soft, and it's purple. Honestly, that's why I bought it. The other one is the e.l.f. highlighting brush. This is very nice. This is very, very soft, very affordable, and I would say it's a perfect, um, I really like the shape of this one. 
<sighs> the last brush I would say is this one. This is also by Morphe. This is the M462 brush. This is a pretty big duo fiber brush. I always tend to pick this one up just to blend out my bronzer and blush if I feel like I have packed on a little too much or I have gone a little heavy. I don't think you can ever go wrong with having duo fiber brushes because that is basically their purpose to diffuse color. Now this has recently become my favorite. $7.99 for 24 brushes. So I was originally looking for smaller concealer type of brushes for when I do a cut crease or a liner and I need something just a little bit smaller. Look at the size on these, okay? These are perfect for cut creases. These are perfect for carving out brows. Here's another one. They're just getting smaller. This one is more like a pencil brush. Another tiny concealer brush. And honestly, for $7.99, these are awesome. I have already washed them and they have held up really nice. This is a thicker, bigger concealer type of brush. I have been using this at least in my last two tutorials. You can see them on my last two tutorials. This one I used for today to put on the glitter on my liner. As you can see, they're tiny, they're a lot more detail. So if you're looking for brushes like that, I would definitely recommend you get this set because it's $7.99. Okay guys, that completes today's video. I just wanted to show you my most used brushes plus affordable priced brushes in case you don't wanna go the Mac route or ordering online. There's definitely a ton of great drugstore brushes out there. So I really hope Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to click on that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I will see you guys in my next one.